EPA Roots Wall is actually a youth mural, which means that local youth from East Palo Alto actually came to talk story, design elements of the mural themselves, and then help paint it. We came up together with the acronym for Roots, which is recording our own thriving stories. What if walls could talk? What would they look like? You see this beautiful art, but what is the feeling and the intention beneath it? We're inviting them to record their own narratives about what their designs mean and about their own stories. What I like about East Palo Alto is how diverse we are. The design I created was the letter T, which represents thriving altogether. It's a drawing of acceptance where people receive help when they need it. When I think of the art, I think of East Palo Alto, which means flavor. I'm heavily inspired by music. We will actually pair their personal stories directly onto the mural. People can engage and scan a code at the wall and actually directly hear the voice of the artist who created it. I am super excited about all the things that are happening today, especially the recording of the stories of the people that are here. Those audio files will continue to live and support this growing and living art piece. How could East Palo Alto be this amazing place that we call a ghetto, but you cross one little small bridge and this abundance of wealth so you just can't come in a community and say, oh, it's mayhem, it's violence, it's drugs. But you haven't learned the root of the problem. Gratitude to you and to everyone who worked with you on that wall because it is a forever memory that helps us remember what we have the capacity to do and who we have the capacity to be. We are strong, we are a strong city and we stand for amazing things. When people come and see this mural, I want them to leave with them knowing that you can do anything. Oh.